As far as I can say, we're currently at the tent of ideas at the UAE event concerning more just uh, policy making in terms of economic where policy. Find a place somewhere in the globe and make yourself comfortable. Universal, universal basic income. Nice. This workshop will be more an ideation session for you to come up with new ideas for policies that can be implemented within the European Union for a better future for all. What has been the effect of this past couple of years, also this, in your lives? How your country or your local government has responded to this? We have some small businesses that we were managing that were very badly affected by, by this situation. Okay. Unemployment relief, etc. is really big. My perspective from the state, they just said, well, yes, you will receive grants, for example, for the tourists, no? Yeah, you will get back uh, half of the profit that you lost this year compared to the last year. It didn't happen that hard. It was two years since they said that, you know. Just like giving like, transparency, like the decision making, or like for real to say, like, this is the real number of cases, or not the estimate. Like, uh, don't keep us in the darkness. Digitalization was forced on us, and you, it was a make or break. Like, either you adapted and you were fine, and you kept everything you had. Or it was a rather complete breakdown of We are not being happy for, for a long time. Very long with the mental health. They, they struggle a lot and they didn't have that much you know, support. All right, really good. That, this is going to be very, very relevant. If you were in their position, what would you have done differently? Like creating some, I don't know, offering some services, uh, some support, like online support. We are in, in the digital uh, uh, era, so why, why not like creating some uh, uh, digital uh, services? Like in the UK, I was surprised to learn that there's a ministry of loneliness because the UK has such a loneliness problem. They actually have a team dedicated to trying to solve it. Measure this. For the future, we should work on a, on a clear panel to you know bridge this gap between the world of science and the world of politics. So more investments in education and uh, making and decentralizing it. So here we have the winners. I guess it's a, this will be a coalition government for the first four uh, ideas, I guess. I, I hope you're happy with the results of your democracy. <laughs> now, the big question is, if we had like an expert and we could ask for an opinion on those uh, ideas that you created and voted for, what would that be? We happen to have one. The main challenge is to put down a regulation or a measure very quickly, which is capturing and satisfying the biggest group of the society at that point. So trust me, like the last uh, 15 months was a nightmare for us. The most important bit is how do you explain it to the people and how do you involve the society? Because if you don't manage that, you can sit behind closed doors and put the best solutions for every possible crisis and situation out there. If the people don't trust you that you could apply it and you do it, then your job is absolutely pointless. Please, to continue on being active, ask questions and keep challenge everyone who is having the influence in your society, being politicians, being scientists, being teachers, keep challenging them. Because if we don't know what are your concerns, your questions, we cannot answer them. And when we can't answer them, there is a mistrust and no end result. So congrats to all of you for being here. Thank you so much. And uh, I'm going to be around you. No, that was good, right? I'm, I'm confident that young people will take more steps to the implementation of their own ideas.